When Russia invaded Ukraine in February of 2022, Mstislav Chernov was part of an Associated Press team documenting the invasion in and around Mariupol. The AP crew, including Chernov and photographer Evgeny Malaletka, filmed the bombing of maternity ward number no. 3 on March 9. Their 30 hours of footage became the basis for 20 days in Mariupol, which just won an Oscar for Best Documentary, a first for any Ukrainian filmmaker. I felt that the room was so silent that I could hear a pin hitting the floor. It was the most silence I heard in that room during the whole ceremony. Chernov believes the film's power lies in its lack of any political agenda. These are real people. So when you bring that to the cinema community, when you bring that thought, I mean, you keep, keep talking to the cinema community about that, I think that's what hits hardest, when, when they see real people be, be behind, behind the characters, behind the images. Chernov has been with AP for a decade, and 20 Days in Mariupol became his film debut. His unflinching views of the Russian bombing of the city showed the world the realities of urban warfare and ultimately, he says, gave them the opportunity to speak for all of Ukraine at the Oscar ceremony. Before the ceremony, I've received so many messages from Ukrainians in my social networks and emails uh, saying, we hope you, you get that stage. It wasn't about the Oscar. It wasn't about the, the victory or the statue or the film. It was about the stage. In his acceptance speech, Chernov said he was perhaps the only reluctant Oscar winner, saying he would trade it all if it meant war had not come to his homeland. But he also hopes the film will help all survivors begin to heal. This is a collective experience for, for, for those who lived through tragedies. And, and they finally were able to face something they've deeply, deeply repressed and tried to forget. And you cannot start your treatment, psychological treatment, when you're repressing your memories. You have to bring them up. Chernov also says Mariupol was just one tragedy among many. Other tragedies happened. Bakhmut happened, and then Marinka happened, and Solidar, and, and Vuhledar, and, and Avdiivka. So every time we see a city being occupied, every time we see a city being destroyed by Russian bombs, we come back to Mariupol. Chernov says he is working on two other films and won't stop working until the war ends. Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky thanked Chernov for his contributions, adding that his film shows the truth about Russian terrorism. Anna Rice and Kristina Shevchenko, Los Angeles and Washington, VOA News.